everyone, it's Holly the Twister Sister back with another awesome balloon tutorial for you guys. This week we've got World Oceans Day. I had to do something to come up with this theme and so I decided to do a very simple and very really elegant and pretty little seashell balloon. I've never taught this tutorial before and it's um, it's nice on its own but it's also great to add into other underwater themed pieces, maybe centerpieces or arches or things that you're making. These are great little additions. So let's go ahead and learn how to make balloon seashells. So today I'm going to be working with a 160 balloon. You could probably size this up to 260s, but you probably wouldn't be able to do the full design with one balloon. You might need to add in another second balloon. Um, so we're going to do our 160 in my favorite color, Fuchsia from Batalitex. And I've got my little um, 160 pumper here. If you don't have one, you can use a regular dual action hand pump. It'll blow these up a little bit faster, actually. Um, it's just harder to get the nozzle of the balloon onto these pumps, but it can be done if you need to. Okay, I'm going to let a tiny bit of air out here and then tie that off. We're going to start with two pinch twists. And so when you're doing pinch twists to start off these little tiny 160 balloons, you just want to make sure that you're a little extra careful. Really grab that knot and pull that knot down around the twist of your first bubble. And then I'm always extra careful to just hold on to this guy and not let it go because sometimes they'll tend to undo themselves. There's not quite as much tension on these 160s to hold everything together. So I'm going to make my second bubble and make that one a pinch twist as well. Once we have our two pinch twists, then you can pretty much let go of this and it should be pretty safe from coming undone. Now we're gonna do two small loops to go on either side of our little pinch twist bubbles here. So just a very small one inch loop or so. So just fold your balloon over and then we're gonna bring our remaining balloon over onto the other side of our pinch twist and we're gonna do another loop over here. So it looks like we're kind of making a bow right now. And that's okay, that's what it should look like for now. Okay, so that is what we've got, our two pinch twists and two loops. Now we're gonna just start doing the real seashell part of the seashell. <laughs> and this is just gonna be very simple twist. We're going up, down, up, down, um, getting larger as we get to the middle and then getting smaller again to make that nice little fan shape of our seashell. So I'm going to start off with about a one and a half or two inch bubble there. Just do a simple twist and then fold your balloon over and you want to measure and make another twist. So you get a bubble the same size. These two should be the same. And we're going to take our balloon just underneath this pinch twist and back up to the top. Just wrap it under and back up one time. You don't need to go around too much. These 160s are a little bit easier to break than your normal 260s. And so you just wanna be extra careful not to stress the balloon out any more than you need to. So once we have that back up, now we're gonna make our next bubble in the fan part of the seashell. And it's gonna be slightly larger than the first one, which you can see it's kind of hanging over there about a half an inch or so. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna fold it down to measure, make a twist. So we have our two bubbles the same size. And again, we're gonna go right underneath our pinch twist and then back up to the top, ready to do the same thing one more time. So now this is gonna be our center bubble that we're working on and that's gonna be the largest set. So make it a little bit larger. And you really, the size difference does not need to be huge. And um, the smaller the size difference, the better actually, because you'll see why at the end. But don't make it too much bigger, just slightly bigger. Okay, fold your balloon over, measure, and lock that in just like the other two sets. Okay, now I'm, I'm trying to keep things straight and situated here so you can see what we've got. But if yours is starting to look a little messy, that's okay. 
All right, so we're just keeping everything sort of oriented like this and keeping track of our small, middle, largest, and then we're gonna go back down now to a middle size and then another small one here, okay? So I'm gonna do my middle size bubbles, just like we've been doing. So two bubbles, the same size, wrap those in. And now I'm on my last one. So I'm gonna do two bubbles the same size as this first set that we made over here. So just small little guys. And then wrap that in around your pinch twist or your loops down there at the bottom. Okay, now once you've got that secured, I'm just trying to organize everything here. You should have a little bit of balloon extra that's left here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the rest of this. If you can break this and have a nice long tail left, keep your long tail. So just break off the very end and see if you have a very long tail left. I do not have a long enough tail left for what we're gonna do next here. So I'm gonna grab another 160 and just leave it uninflated and tie it in. So here's another 160. I'm just gonna cut this in half because that's a little too long. All right, I'm gonna take the nozzle and we're just gonna wrap it in around the center of our seashell, do some figure eights, and just get it locked in there really good. All right, I'm gonna try to line everything up so everything's all flattened out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our, remain our tail, like it just, like where we deflated our remaining balloon, we're gonna get our tail like it's coming out of there. Okay, so it's on the side of our double bubbles, but above the loops here, okay? And we've got our pinch twist in the middle. All right, we're gonna take this and pull it tight, as tight as that balloon will stretch. And we're gonna come up over the top of our double bubbles. It's gonna sit right in the crease where those two bubbles are twisted. And we're gonna pull that tight, 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 gathering all those bubbles up so they're getting close together. Okay, we've pulled it nice and tight. We're gonna come back down the side and then just lock it in at the base by pulling it tight and twisting it around our loops and our pinch twist so it, it stays together nice and tightly on these bubbles. Okay, now you can really see how it's starting to look like a, a seashell. I always have trouble saying that word. And um, now we just need to kind of arrange our little bubbles a little bit better. So you can see on this side, it's not looking very symmetrical and we've got some bubbles sticking out further than other ones. And so you just wanna make sure to clean that up. Just take your fingers and kind of pull out some of the bubbles so that they're all even. We don't have any that are shoved in too far or sticking way out more than others. Okay, you wanna center up your pinch twist there in the middle. Make sure your loops are nice and flat and facing that side like that. Um, if you need to straighten out anything, you know, just manipulate your, your bubbles here a little bit. And then once you've done that on both sides, both sides are looking nice and clean, then we can go ahead and cut off the rest of this tail or if you're going to incorporate this little seashell into a larger design piece, um, maybe even put it on like a headband. How cute would that be for like a, a mermaid headband? Put some bubbles on there. So cute. Then you can leave this tail and use that to connect it to other things. So that is it for our little one balloon seashell tutorial. We did have to use a uh, scrap 160, so it's not truly one balloon, but I have done these where it works out where you can use one balloon and you have enough tail left at the end to wrap everything up. Um, so it just depends on your bubble sizes and the brands of balloons that you're using and everything. Um, but that is it. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. I really am looking forward to seeing what you guys use this seashell design for. So if you incorporate it into other things, we'd love to see pictures of what you make with this in our free Facebook group. The link is in the description down below. And if you really enjoy making balloon animals and spreading joy and happiness, 
with balloons, then we'd love to have you join the Twister Hood. It's my membership program where I go in and I put everything, my heart and soul, into teaching other people how to have a business or a, just a really successful hobby with balloon twisting and uh, other things that you can do with balloons to make money, to spread joy and create lots of smiles around the world. So our doors are open right now. I encourage you to look into it. The link is also down below. It's the twisterhood.com. We give you exclusive members only tutorials every month. We give you social media graphics to put out on your social media pages to generate awareness and get those eyeballs on your business. Um, we do lots of templates for everything. If you need to build a new menu, new business cards, thank you cards, sales flyers. We have so many templates where you can just drag and drop, change the text out to make it your own. So tons of handy resources available there to help you either get really good at twisting if you're just starting out, or if you are already a pretty good balloon twister and now you want to focus on your business and really optimize and make things more efficient, we provide a lot of convenient tools that will help you out and save you a lot of time so that you can focus more on the things you really like to do, just creating fun, awesome stuff with balloons. So thank you guys so much for watching this. If you got value out of this tutorial today and you can think of anyone else who would also find value out of it, please share this video with them. And before you go, I just have one request. If you could please, pop that like button. We got to bust out the big old like balloon. I love this thing. <laughs> it stays inflated all the time in my balloon closet. Um, so give a big like for the big like balloon. And I super duper appreciate that. If I don't see you in the twister head, I'll see you back here on YouTube next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great week, everybody, and happy twisting. Bye-bye.